Hello, everybody, and welcome to our service of morning prayer for today, Friday, the 21st of October. Let's just spend a moment in quiet as we, we remember God's presence with us. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image. And in these last days, you have spoken to us in your son, Jesus Christ, the word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And our psalm today is Psalm 95, which we also know as the Venite. And the refrain tells us what Venite means. So we'll say that together. Come, let us worship and bow down. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah on that day at Massa in the wilderness when your forebears tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long I detested that generation and said, this people are wayward in, my, in their hearts, they do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship and bow down. Lord God, the maker of all, as we bow down in praise this day, make us attentive to your voice and do not test us beyond our enduring through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And now it's over to Jocelyn for our readings. Our Old Testament readings is taken from 2 Kings, chapter 12, verses 1 to 19. In the seventh year of Jehu, Jehoash began to reign. He reigned for 40 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Zibiah of, she of Beersheba. Jehoash did what was right in the sight of the Lord all his days, because the priest Jehoiada instructed him. 
Nevertheless, the high places were not taken away. The people continued to sacrifice and make offerings on the high places. <clears throat> Jehoash said to the priests, All the money offered as sacred donations that is brought into the house of the Lord, the money which each person is assessed, the money, the money from the assessment of persons, and the money from the voluntary offerings brought into the house of the Lord. Let the priests receive from each of the donors and let them repair the house wherever they need of repairs is discovered. But by the 23rd year of King Jehoash, the priests had made no repairs to the house. Therefore, King Jehoash summoned the priests, Jehoiada, with the other priests and said to them, why are you not repairing the house? Now, therefore, do not accept any more money from your donors, but hand it over for the repair of the house. So the priests agreed that they would neither accept more money from the people nor repair the house. Then the priest, Jehoiada, took a chest, made a hole in its lid and set it beside the altar on the right side as one entered the house of the Lord. The priest who guarded the threshold put it and put all the money that was brought into the house of the Lord. Whenever they saw that there was a great deal of money in the chest, the king's secretary and the high priest went up, counted the money that was found in the house of the Lord, and tied it up in bags. They would give the money that was weighed out into the hands of the workers who had the oversight of the house of the Lord. Then they paid it out to the carpenters and the builders who worked on the house of the Lord to the masons and the stonecutters, as well to buy timber and quarried stone for making repairs on the house of the Lord, as well as any for any outlay for repairs of the house. But for the house of the Lord, no basins of silver, snuffers, bowls, trumpets, or any other vessels of gold or of silver were made from the money that was brought into the house of the Lord. For that was given to the workers who were repairing the house of the Lord with it. They did not ask for an account for those into whose hand they delivered the money to pay out to the workers, for they dealt honestly. The money from the guilt offerings and the money from the sin offerings was not brought into the house of the Lord. It belonged to the priests. At that time, King Hazrael of Aram went up, fought against Gath and took it. But when Hazael set his face to go up against Jerusalem, King Jehoash of Judah took all the votive gifts that, that Jehoshaphat, Jerem, and, and Aradziah, his ancestors, the king of Judah, had dedicated, as well as his own votive gifts of all the gold that was found in the treasuries of the house of the Lord and of the king's house, and sent them to King Hazrael of Aram. Then Hazrael withdrew from Jerusalem. Now the rest of the acts of Joash and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now turn to Acts in the New Testament, chapter 28, verses 1 to 16. After we'd reached safety, we then learned that the island was called Morta. The natives showed us unusual kindness. Since it had begun to rain and was cold, they kindled a fire and welcomed all of us round it. Paul had gathered a bundle of brushwood and was putting it on the fire when a viper, driven out by the heat, fastened itself on his hand. <clears throat> when the natives... When the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, this man must be a murderer. Though he's escaped from the sea, justice has not allowed him to live. He, however, shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. They were expecting him to swell up or drop dead. But after they had waited a long time and saw that nothing unusual had happened to him, they changed their minds and began to say that he was a god. Now in the neighbourhood of that place were lands belonging to the leading man of the island, 
named Publius, who received us and entertained us hospitality for three days. It so happened that the father of Publius lay sick in bed with fever and dysentery. Paul visited him and cured him by praying and putting his hands on him. After this happened, the rest of the people on the island who had diseases also came and were cured. They bestowed many honours on us, and when we were about to sail, they put on board all the provisions we needed. Three months later, we set sail on a ship that had wintered at the island, an Alexandrian ship with the twin brothers at its figurehead. We put in it at Syracuse and stayed there for three days. Then we weighed anchor and came to Riagum. After one day, there was a south wind sprang up, and on the second day, we came to Petsuroli. There we found believers and were invited to stay with them for seven days. And so we came to Rome. The believers from there, when they heard of us, came as far as the Forum of Appius and three taverns to meet us. On seeing them, Paul thanked God and took courage. When we came into Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier who was guarding him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. And we'll say the Benedictus together, beginning with the refrain. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. And so we come to our time of intercession. And Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us this day as you are every day. Thank you for your blessings, which are new every morning. We truly walk through this day with you and honour your name in all we do. Lord, we pray for your church throughout the world. And we remember that your people live in many different situations. Some of them, Lord, are accepted as, as believers and have freedom to meet and worship. Some of them do not have that freedom. And Lord, we particularly pray for those people today that they may be aware of the worldwide fellowship they belong to, of others worshipping with them even though they can't see them or be with them. Lord, bless those people, we pray. May they know your presence with them today, your protection, your provision, and your grace at work in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and its needs. And Lord, again, we remember that the, there are many different situations and some countries are really struggling at the moment, Lord. We think of those countries which have had floods in recent months and Lord it takes so long to sort out after a major disaster like that so um, we pray for Pakistan and other countries that have had serious problems with um, unusual weather be with them Lord as they try to rebuild their lives provide for all their needs Lord, we pray for our country. We pray for King Charles and members of the royal family. Be with them all, Lord, as they all continue to adjust to their new roles following the death of the Queen earlier this month. We pray, Lord, that you will bless them 
that they may walk in your light and honour your name in all they do. We also pray for Parliament, Lord, and, and we remember the elections of a new Prime Minister that are going on this week, and we pray for the person who will take office. We pray that that may be the person of your choice and that you will give wisdom and insight as they take up that responsibility and as they seek to find a solution to the many problems that face government in these days. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the armed forces and all they do to maintain peace within our kingdom and for the ways they step in and help out in times of emergency. We thank you for them, Lord, and we pray that you will bless them in all they do. And we pray for other organisations that also work to maintain peace and justice in the world and in our nation. We think of the police, the judicial system, Lord, and particularly, Lord, we pray for people who are working to bring about peace and reconciliation between different nations, different factions, and particularly those who are working in those countries which are presently going through times of conflict we think of uh, Ukraine, where the situation seem, continues to be serious. We pray, Lord, that you will bring about peace in that nation. And we pray for your people in Ukraine, Lord. May they know your presence with them and your hand at work in their lives and in their nation. And we pray for President Zelensky and his government and for all who are trying to negotiate peace and reconciliation there. And we remember other countries like the Yemen, where fighting has been going on for many years, and Iran, where there is such injustice, particularly against women. Lord, we pray for those who are trying to change that situation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Closer to home, Lord, we pray for our church. We pray for Bishop Martin, Bishop Ruth, and Bishop Will in all they do. Give them your wisdom and your grace, Lord. May they be channels of your light and your love in all they do. And we pray for our local clergy in Worthing, and particularly for Gaz Daly and Gary Neal. Lord, bless them and give them wisdom. And we pray for the PCC and for all those who are in any kind of leadership role, that you will bless them and inspire them in all they do. And Lord, we remember that next week is half term week and there are going to be some special activities happening. So, Lord, we pray for the fun days that are being organised for children next week on the 24th and the 26th, one at Queen Street, the 24th at Queen Street and the 26th at St Stephen's when I think it's Messy Church will be going on. Lord, we pray that many people will come along to that and that will be a day of great fun and enjoyment, but also a day when the children can Discover how much you love them, Lord, and what it means to walk with you day by day. Bless them, we pray, and bless all those who are leading those, those fun days, particularly Carl and Vladka. And Lord, we pray for the light party that's planned for St Mary's on the 31st of October. We pray that that will show a better way of celebrating that weekend, that you are the light of the world. And without your love and your light, Lord, life has no meaning. May children discover that 
this week in all these activities. And again, Lord, we pray for your blessing and your Holy Spirit to be present in all these activities. We also pray for those who are ill and in a moment of quiet, we name before God anybody we know who is ill or who needs a special touch from the Lord today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, as Hallow the word Halloween means the eve of all hallows and all hallows or all saints is the day when we remember all those people, not just people who are known as saints, called saints, but everybody who has died trusting God for salvation and trusting in his love and grace. And Lord, we pray for everybody who has lost anybody and is grieving for somebody they love who has gone to be with you. Lord, as we celebrate that feast of all saints, may they know your presence with them. May they rejoice that their loved one is with you. And may they find your comfort and your help day by day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the, the collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of your everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. If you want any more details about those activities I mentioned in my prayers, do have a look either on the website or in the um, news sheet that is circulated by email and you'll find um, all the details there about what's happening when and where and how to uh, sign in if you need to sign in or any information you need can be where to find it. And of course, details of Sunday services are also there. And so our closing prayer. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.